This is MMA Outbreak. to the second fight from today's Odds Breaker segment. It's a battle from UFC 153, a very popular card. I think the pay-per-view part of it is stacked. And this is from the pay-per-view card. It's Damian Maya versus Rick Story at welterweight. Basically a pick em fight. We're gonna start off with Jeremy Botter first on this one. Jeremy, it should be a competitive fight, could go either way. I'm gonna open up Damian Maya, the very slight favorite, minus 125. The comeback on Rick Story is gonna be minus 105. Give me your thoughts and give me your bet. I like this line a lot, and mostly because I like Damian Maya a lot at welterweight. I've been pretty impressed with what I've seen so far. And I also like the fact that he's abandoned his grand plan to be a striker. Uh, he's going back to his roots. He's, he's going takedown. He's going submission. We haven't seen it a lot yet, but he, you know, he's been very vocal about that's his game plan here now at welterweight. And I think that's the right game plan, and I think that is going to take him far, and I certainly think it takes him over Rick Story, who I uh, do not believe has the kind of submission defense that can – you know, help protect him against Damian Maya if Damian if Damian is actively looking for a submission, and that's why I like Maya here. Okay, so Jeremy is going to go with a slight favorite, Damian Maya minus one twenty five. It's going to be six twenty five to win five hundred dollars. Let's throw it over to Nick Vlas. Nick, do you agree with him on this one? All right, I, I disagree with uh, uh, Damian Maya here uh, being the uh, the likely winner. I like Rick Story in here. I think he's an elite wrestler. I don't think Maya takes him down. And I think Rick Story will keep this fight standing and uh, get a decision or possibly KO uh, uh, Maya. You know, I have problems with Maya's uh, drop to uh, welterweight. He's 34 years old, and he got a fluke win against Don Yong Kim when Don Yong Kim uh, uh, landed awkwardly. So the jury's still out if he's going to be good at uh, welterweight. Okay, so Nick Vlas is going to go with a slight underdog here. It's going to be Rick Story minus 105, so it's going to be 525 to win $500. Now, very competitive fight. Like I said, in my eyes, it could go either way. That's why we're seeing such a close line. Both of our experts do split on this fight, so tread cautiously here at UFC 153. Well, that's it for another episode of MMA Odds Breakers. You can look for the odds that Nick broke right here on the show to start popping up at the sport books throughout the coming week. Also, a big thanks to our two guests, Nick Vlas and Jeremy Botter, both giving us incredible information as always. Thanks, guys. And make sure you check out our website, MMAOddsBreaker.com, and also follow us on Twitter, at MMAOddsBreaker. For Miguel Literate, I'm Nick Kalika saying until next time, enjoy the fights.